Well, hello, hello, everyone. The 8-bit cipher is doing pretty much everything this time. I'm not using grids at all. The QCD is providing some clock. That's clocking the cipher. Um, this LFO is the data input. And then all of those gates and CVs are going out to control various things. Um, T-Kick is connected to the super serial gate, which is whenever that green light in the middle fires. Then I have some XOR combinations firing two envelopes on the A143-1 and those are controlling the two vectorals in the fork tech and it's playing that that kind of high pitched thing and then those bird noises those chirps are coming from the Trigotronic M669 going through the MMF the MMF I'm taking the band pass out and uh, the cutoff frequency is being controlled by one of these CVs uh, let's see I am combining a whole bunch of stuff I'm taking the CV out from Folktech, which is an envelope follower of this little block input right there. And that's being mixed. It's controlling some wave folding on the life forms. Boom. It's, it's playing that part. And also uh, another output from the lifeforms filter. The high pass output is going through to uh, microburst. And it, microburst is being triggered directly by this times two multiplication of the clock and that's giving us a, like a d -d 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 little steady pulse that kind of comes in and out in the background as the uh, as the filter moves the filter is being modulated by the envelope which I've set to just a kind of a plucky little uh, quick decay now that other tone that's fading in whoa, whoa, that is the E950 going through it's going through a one side of skis and I'm just using a slope from Rampage to control the skis VCA instead of the onboard decay envelope which I usually use but I wanted it to fade in and fade out real slowly I'm also kind of doing the same trick with plats and it's fading in occasionally with this clang, 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 clang. And it's just, it's being triggered by this clock. There it comes. 
Mountains, there's Platt's. Since the uh, sequence from the cipher is running a whole lot faster than the notes on the E950, those, those ones that are fading in and out real slowly, I am splitting the trigger And I'm using uh, this sample and hold to grab CV values from the sequence as it runs past and hold them for the duration that that note is up. Actually, I'm using the end of cycle of that envelope to trigger the sample and hold. So it will grab a new note as soon as the envelope is finished anyway I thought this one turned out pretty interesting and um, I've got to mention my Patreon because that's what paid for all of this and I have to mention my Bandcamp because that's where the good audio winds up eventually and I thank you all for watching, and I will catch you next time.